Hey there, I recently came across the RRE Ventures website and fell in love with all the interactions and animations they have as the user scrolls on through. But the one thing that caught my attention was all the way down in the footer section, where if you see the arrows in the footer links actually follow the user's mouse. So I thought this would be a pretty cool interaction to try to recreate in Webflow. So what I did is I have a Webflow project opened up and I got a three column section that I got from the Reloom library. And the only thing I've done so far is I just swapped out the arrow icon with something that was more similar to what they used in the RRE Ventures website. So once we have our page, once we have our layout situated, we're going to go to the animations tab and we're going to have set up a new page trigger interaction. And we're going to do mouse move in viewport. And we're just going to have this trigger on the desktop and above. So we're going to uncheck tablet, phone, and phone portrait. So we're going to play a mouse animation and we're going to start a new mouse animation and we're going to call this follow cursor and so some of this I realize is dependent on the actual arrow you used so you might have to play around with some of the x position as you scroll through the x axis but I found this is what works best for the specific arrow I use. So feel free to adjust the numbers depending on your specific icon. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to adjust the Y position of the mouse. So we're going to first select our icon. And we're going to go to the mouse Y. And we're going to set it in 0%. And we're going to create a rotate. And we're going to rotate this negative 30 degrees on the Z axis. And then we're going to have it affect the class. And we're going to make it ease. And then we're going to go to 100%. And we're going to rotate this 45 degrees on the Z. Or affect the class and make it ease. And now, if we do a live preview, we can see it's following our cursor as it goes up and down. Now, having it move on the x-axis is a little more nuanced depending on your arrow. So I'm going to make a new animation on the x-axis. Have it rotate with the class. Set the easing to ease. And I'm going to have the first one start at 30%. I'm going to have it rotate negative 180 on the y. And then for the second one, and affect the class. And I'm going to have the keyframe be 60%. And I'm going to have this one rotate 0 degrees on the Y. And we're going to make sure all of our easings are ease. And we're going to save. And then I adjusted the smoothing to 70%. And then if we check it out, it follows our cursor. So there you go. Hope this helps you in a future project.